Hey guys, Portia here and today I am going to sublimate a 30 ounce tumbler and I'm kind of excited about it. It is my very first one and I thought I would share the experience with you all. Now I did create an image in Canva that I'm going to use today and if you want to know how, I'll go ahead and drop the link below in the description. Once we're done with sublimation, we're going to go ahead and add some vinyl and a little bit of bling with some glitter. I'm also going to finish everything off with a couple of layers of epoxy. So let's go ahead and get started. Now guys, while I'm getting our tumbler together, I got a little bit of a story to tell you. I was today years old when I figured out that my Epson Echo Tank, my beloved 2760, cannot accommodate a 30 ounce tumbler. Never thought about it. My blown, created this whole design and actually I cannot complete it the right way so a 30 ounce tumbler is like 10 inches 10 um 10 inches in height and it is about nine and a half 9.8 around and in order to create a full 360 wrap for this particular tumbler you would need to be able to print on paper that is 11 by 17. now the echo tank my model can only accommodate a width of eight and a half so I did go ahead and print on that eight and a half by 11 paper. It is going to leave a gap down here, but that's okay. I'm gonna fill it in with a little bit of bling. And I hope, fingers crossed, that it turns out great. So um, a little bit of bling can fix anything. <laughs> we'll find out together. And shout out to Belle for letting me know that the mug press fits a 30 ounce tumbler perfectly. Thanks, hon. All right, guys, we are nice and cool. And we are going to unwrap. All right, y'all. Ooh, okay, so we do have some paper transfer, but that's okay didn't get in that little area as well as I would have liked to but that too is all right so yeah we looking good kind of missed the spot right there but I like what I see guys so what I am gonna do and I'm gonna be honest that even don't look too bad does it no not really hmm interesting I think though, I, I do believe I still want to fill it in with glitter. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this out back and I'm going to spray paint it with clear acrylic. I'm sorry, with clear sp spray paint. The reason why I want to do that is to kind of add some texture so that we can come in and the glitter will adhere well and then the vinyl and all that good stuff because we are going to do this whole bottom with glitter. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have sprayed down the tumbler and I use my clear spray paint. Now we have a nice surface, a good texture to work with. Now, as I stated before, we're gonna add a little bling down here. Um, although, like I said, I, I do think uh, we could have probably got away with it, but that looks so unfinished to me. And one thing I was initially going for before I realized that my paper or my printer wasn't big enough was a seamless um, design and it absolutely is seamless. We are going to eventually um, fill this space with some words, uh, Rosé the day away, I do believe. But for right now, let's go ahead and get glitter in this area. So what I have here is a bit of Mod Podge and what I'm going to do, uh, well, it does have black acrylic paint in there because it's not natural black. I am going to paint this area down here and I'm going to add some black holographic glitter to it because the holographic works a bit better with uh, and I want to put this on pretty thin I know this is kind of thick but I want to do my layers kind of thin but yeah holographic glitter works way better when you're going to epoxy over it than like the um regular I don't even want to call it flat glitter because that's not quite right but yeah we're gonna get this um all done okay so we have our glitter added i am liking what i am seeing so far um yeah so i came through with the fine glitter at first so i did two layers of that 
then I finished oops then I finished it up with a bit of this so this has like all I guess all the sizes of the uh, glitter in there so I didn't use the super chunky but the um, the medium size is what you really see this kind of blinging through so the shaker allowed me to pick which side all right guys so I'm gonna let this like dry dry like for real dry completely dry um, and then when I come back, we'll be ready to place our decals. All right, guys. So my black glitter is dry, dry, like I said. And you may have noticed a little bit of bling on our roses. So while the glitter was drying, I just could not help myself. Um, if you have seen me work before, you know that I like a little bit of bling. And sometimes I have control issues and editing issues when it comes to adding glitter but yeah i just took a thin layer of mod podge and sprinkled on the glitter i didn't want it to like overtake the like the drawing and the details of the roses i just wanted to add a little bit of pop so yeah guys what i'm gonna go ahead and do is find our back now oh and one more thing in order to keep the glitter from spreading when I add my epoxy, I did spray another layer of the clear um, spray paint to keep everything onto itself so that the red stays with the red and the black stays with the black. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on our decal. And we have Rose the day away. And then from there, what I am gonna do is come on back and then we will be ready to um, epoxy away. Okay guys, so I have mixed up about an ounce of epoxy resin. I did add a little bling to it because when I do my first layer, I don't like it to be plain. So I did add a little bit um, of holographic glitter to it. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and do my first um, layer of epoxy. And we are going to bring back the shine and the glitter because you know once you put down your spray paint it takes away from that so we're gonna bring our shine back and then from there what I'm gonna do is allow this to set for about six hours come back through with one more layer um, probably do another six hours determine whether or not I have the sand and then I'll do a finishing uh, coat from there and then when I return you guys will be able to see the complete finished project all right guys and here is the finished project I wanted to bring the tumbler out in natural sunlight so that you can see the gloss the glam and the shine I am so happy with this tumbler y'all um, I don't know why I had not done red and black sooner these are some of my favorite color uh, combinations and the color is really popping the red is really popping on this particular tumbler I love how the black is sparkling that holographic really brings it to life I definitely have my fair share of challenges with this particular tumbler but I'm glad that I persevered and pushed on through and yeah I'm happy with the final project or product or whatever but yeah guys I really like if this. you got any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know if you found this video entertaining or even helpful can you please go ahead and give it a thumbs up but as always guys until next time peace